Hello, welcome to another cool day in Ohio. We are out working on our school bus before it gets dark. We're going to take the wiper motor off through the front so when we do our roof raise, we can separate the two. I went ahead and we cut all, the, ground all the heads off of the rivets and then I'm gonna take a punch and pop them through. They go pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and work on the arm. We'll get it off and then pull the motor and stuff inside. So I'll pop it off real quick and I'll show you. Okay, we're gonna take the nut off of here. It takes a 9 16 So we'll hold the arm, take the nut off. Take it loose, and then there's a little washer. We'll flip the arm out. It makes it easier so there's not pressure on it. And then you can take that same 9 16 sometimes wiggle it. I might have to heat it. There we go. The arm comes off. I went ahead and undid the sprayer. So that's off little dust shield loose and then it's got these little insert is what the actual wiper arm fastens to so we pull it off it off so there's the two pieces and then I'll take my crescent wrench take this nut loose which is the spacer and the sleeve that runs through the sheet metal fairly simple process. We'll pull the little sleeve off. There's a washer and an o-ring. The o-ring will replace so we don't get water inside. So that's the simple part of the outside so we'll move inside and watch we'll pull the motor and the gears and all that and then we'll show you that okay we're inside now it has two 7 16 socket heads underneath here and then the nuts are up top so we'll take a wrench and a ratchet take it loose and then we should be able to wiggle the whole assembly out. So let's see how it works. There's one, there's one more. There's the second one. And we should be able to just wiggle it. comes right out just like that and then we'll just leave it up here because when we do our roof raise we'll separate it from the windshield the top of it to this hood and then that's where our 18 inch piece will go so this is done for now and we'll move on to something else hello okay so we got our Layout here on the floor. So we were going through so I can do measurements on the sheet metal that I gotta get. So all the stickers on the windows are the windows we're getting rid of. We're gonna keep the original bus windows on the one, the ones without the tape. So it still looks like a bus. We wanna go with that. But uh, we'll go through and take the windows out when we lift it and then reseal them and all that stuff. But we're gonna lose quite a few and then the two back windows are the wider windows 
I'm going to weld in some steel and make cut them back to where they're the shorter windows. That way it works better because we're going to have a wall behind our bed for a storage area in the back. That way our panel box is back there and our batteries and all that kind of stuff. So, and then this weekend we will be extending the light, the wires for the tail lights for the stretch of the top. We're going to get rid of the reds and the yellows on the front and the back. And then I think we're going to do some LED lights for the back. So when we're back in, we can kick them on. And we might do two on the front too for like fog lights. But uh, we're getting there. We're going to bypass all the emergency doors this weekend. So those will all be done. This hatch here we're getting rid of. And then the other one will turn into a ceiling air conditioning unit. But uh, we're getting there. Um, we're almost to, I still got some more screws in the back, a few more rivets in the front. And then we'll pull the windows and get it ready to uh, to lift. So it's coming. Have a nice day.